frozen north, the name given to the stark and unforgiving frontier that lies beyond the high moor of Faerun. A bleak wilderness where barbarian clans and tribes of giants roam the land and fierce dragons rule the skies. But amidst the frozen savagery stands a bastion of civilization, the city of Neverwinter, jewel of the north. Behind the city's high walls, those both hardy and brave carve out an existence from this bleak land under the guidance and protection of the legendary hero, Lord Nasher Alagonda. Yet there are some things that all the courage in the world cannot stand against. A virulent plague swept the city, a terrible affliction that began in the beggar's nest. Soon, all of Neverwinter would feel the touch of the wailing death. The disease could not be cured. Panic ensued. The streets erupted into violence. The Jewel of the North was brought to its knees. To save Neverwinter, Lady Aribeth de Tilmoran, Paladin of Tyr, and Lord Nash's right hand put forth the call for a champion. A rush of would-be heroes answered her call, some drawn by promises of grandeur and glory, others by the lure of gold. Those with the greatest potential were initiated into the academy to train and study under the greatest minds of Neverwinter, all in the hopes a champion might emerge to save the city from the wailing death, and whatever sinister force might be behind it. Finally, you're up. I was afraid you were going to sleep all day. I guess the instructors work you pretty hard here at the Academy. My name's Pavel. I'm one of the new recruits. I just arrived here at the Academy this morning. Hey there. I want to talk to you. I saw you talking to my brother Pavel. My name is Bim.
can't have you wandering about the streets naked. <laughs> Might give the Academy a bad name. Come back. time you showed up, recruit. My name is Herbert. As far as your worthless hide is concerned, you can just call me sir.
My weapon ineffective. What? So Harbin sent you over for your combat trial, did he? Well, my name is. You should continue your training elsewhere. Back again, recruit. What do you want this time? And you better address me as sir, or this conversation is over. Hey there. Welcome to my little corner of the academy. I'm Jeru, resident master of the arcade. Greetings and well met. complete. Now that you've finished your training, you can go on into the South Assembly Hall. Congratulations. Your training here at the Academy is now complete. I have been looking forward to meeting you. The instructors here at the Academy speak very highly of your skills. I am Lady Erebeth de Tilmerand. Perhaps after the graduation ceremonies, we can speak in private. We should arrange to... Wait, what was that? Did you feel it? We are under attack! A number of creatures were brought from Waterdeep here to the Academy. We tried to keep this information secret, but this attack reveals our secret is well known, even to our enemies. Rumors spread more quickly than the plague itself, or so it would seem. Neverwinter has many enemies. Some declare themselves openly, such as the city of Luskin. I do not know who is behind this attack, but it is obvious they are here to destroy our hope of ending the Wailing Death. You must protect the Waterdavian creatures. They must not be allowed to fall into the enemy's hands. I would take you to the creatures myself if I could, but I... Our attackers appeared here in this room. 
It is likely their arrival was magically centered on me. Even now, our enemy may be watching me through magical means. You must do this alone. Go back through the hallway leading to this room and take the corridor to the east. Take this key. It will open the locked east door back... Hurry! Make your way in... The fate of Neverwinter depends on you. This key will open the door. Taste the pain! Let's see how the ice is fall. Time to die! Thank the gods you're here. I thought those goblins were going to be the death of me.
it to me! and the other creatures have escaped into the streets of the city. And where was Erebeth during all this? And you must forgive me, Mister. As their leader, Dester has worked long and hard. I'm Fenthic Moss, priest of Tyr and companion. One brutal attack, the promise of those at the Academy had been all but snuffed out. Hope disappeared with the Waterdavian creatures, and the weight of the terrible sickness pressed down on the city once more. Even more chilling, the whispered rumors of enemies seeking to destroy Neverwinter from within had proved true though the identity of those responsible for the slaughter was as yet unknown. Still, a flicker of hope yet remained, for not all had died in the attack. From the bloody carnage at the Academy, a survivor had stepped forward, a champion to carry the torch in this darkest hour. To the summons. Allow me to be the first to welcome you to the Halls of Justice. This is a mistake, Fenthic. We know nothing about this well. How can you so blindly trust them?
Nasher made a mistake when he appointed Erebeth to be in charge of finding a cure for the plague. My Helmites are better equipped to deal with this crisis of faith. to you. I regret I did not get a chance to introduce myself properly to you. I am Lady Erebeth de Tilmerand, paladin in the service of Tyr, and the right hand of Nasha Alagondar, Lord of Neverwinter. I have been waiting for you. Ah, oh, dear Fenthic, the love of my life. I have been following your progress since your early training at the Academy. The attack on the Academy doused the one faint spark of hope the city had. I need you to help recover that which we have lost. You will answer only to me, and I will give you free reign in your tasks. I knew I could count on you. There are many rumors about the plague, but if you are to aid me in this, it is important you know the truth about the Wailing Death. Our divine healers can do nothing to help those afflicted by the Wailing Death. But a short time ago, we had word that Kelvin Blackstaff Aronson, the famous Archmage of Waterdeep, had discovered a potential cure. Under great secrecy, the four creatures were gathered in Waterdeep, then sent here to Neverwinter. As strange a menagerie as any has ever set eyes on. A cockatrice, an intellect devourer, a yonti, and a dryad. I ordered them sent to the Academy, Neverwinter's renowned training institution for adventurers of every ilk. I, the Academy may have been betrayed from within, or perhaps I simply put too much faith in the instructors, students, and staff to keep this news secret, as Dester claims. You were there. You saw the slaughter. The attack caught us unprepared. You are one of only a handful of survivors from the carnage of the Academy. Fenthic and Dester arrived with reinforcements, but during the confusion of battle, the Water Davian creatures disappeared into the streets of Neverwind. Your task in this is twofold. First, find the Water Davian creatures and bring them back to me, at any cost. Second, we must discover who was behind the attack on the Academy. Any evidence you uncover in this matter should be brought to Fenthic. The City Watch can do little to help in this, sir. You proved yourself during the attack on the Academy. Your bravery and skill are obvious. By all accounts, the creatures escaped the battle at the Academy unharmed. And there are many reports of strange beasts pouring in from every district of the city. You proved yourself during the attack. The City Watch can do little to help in this search. I ask for your discretion in this matter. To aid you in your task, I will give you this Stone of Recall. You can activate the Stone of Recall at any time, and it will instantly teleport you and anyone in your service back here to the Temple of Tyr. Any time you go through the teleportation portal in Tyr's Temple, it will instantly send you and any companions back to the place your stone was last activated. There is little else I can tell you about this mission. Whenever you need provisions, come speak to me again, and I can sell them to you through the store here at Tyr's Temple. Take this gold so you can buy the necessary supplies for your mission. Remember to stock up on healing potions before you go. They will be critical to your survival. I am not one to boast of my accomplishments. Suffice to say that I am a paladin of Tyr, and I am honored Lord Nasha has placed me in charge of finding a cure for the Wailing Death. Is there anything else? It is no secret that Fenthic and I are lovers. Although Lord Nasha has placed me in charge of finding a cure for the plague, I could not do this without Fenthic's help. Is there anything else? There are many rumors, and I would not like to give you any false leads. There have been some promising reports from the prison district. Several eyewitness accounts indicate a strange creature is wandering the area. But there is no guarantee the reports are accurate. Is there anything else? I think the Hellmite is arrogant, sanctimonious, self-righteous, and holier than thou. Desta challenges my every decision on general principle, or so it would seem. He is constantly accusing me of abandoning my faith and not trusting enough in the power of the divine. 
Sometimes I think Dester and his Hell Knights do more to hinder my efforts than help them. But Venthek assures me they bring hope to the city. Is there anything else? the smell of a prospective employer about you. Not that it's easy to smell anything with all the burning corpses in this city, mind you. <laughs> Blessings of the Earth Mother Shrontia and the Tree Father Sylvanus upon you. Oh, yeah. It ain't right. It's 
Greetings.